Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Havoc OS 2.2 based on Android 9.0 Pi and port it from G7 Prime for our G7 2016. So without wasting more time, let's start. So yesterday I just checked Telegram and I saw that like it was a Havoc OS ROM for 2016, G7 2016. But then I saw that it was a ported version. So you can see how I do Havoc version. It is, it says actually official, but you can see the device says on 7 xcld which is the JSON Prime. And into Android version, you can see the base band, which is our device version, JSON 10FXXX CRK1. And you can see here, February 5, 2019, the latest security batch. Also Android 9.0 Pi. You can see, uh, yeah, this is the animation. And getting back, you can see we get the oxygen kernel. And you need to flash this in order to boot this ROM. I will show you the installation step by step so don't worry and like check the video till the end and you can see the setting status is also permissive yes. so guys starting with the launcher you can see we get this uh, pixel launcher and into the settings you can see home settings we get all of the normal pixel launcher settings now i don't have g apps installed like i just wanted to test this rom but it works really flawlessly so you can install this as your daily driver and it works really smooth so I just tried it and you can see we have this display Google app and all the stuff in the launcher and into the drawer you can see we get these much apps now I don't use this device so you can see these are the apps present already and you can install other apps from Google so like it's a really clean and neat ROM so guys this is the first Pi ROM so let's take a look at the Pi stuff you can see the quick settings really neat looks really clean and the material design too of course applied on Android 9 to Y also you can see into the settings the setting looks really cleaner and also colorful so it looks really neat and clean. now let's move towards the havoc settings which is the main thing in this rom like you can see the most number of customizations are available in this rom so you can see the gestures status bar gestures are available double depth sleep brightness control pull down clock settings and breathing notifications sms miss call and voicemail and then battery customization like like battery bar, battery icon, battery percentage and also network traffic is available so you can enable that indicators also Wi-Fi data indicators then status by icons, carrier label and you can see Volte icon but sadly Volte doesn't work on Exynos devices on EOSP ROMs so like never expect Volte to be working on an EOSP ROM for our JSON 2016 4G works, you can see show data disable icon and I don't have any SIM card but yeah you can like use these options then we have quick settings into quick settings we get this like quick settings customization so you can take a look like if i keep explaining everything the video would get stretched out and interface you have this ui style like pixel and usb it's just this uh, ui difference the rounded and the square the notification color background like let's see quick setters quick settings header style quick settings style style which i already told you really nice features too like customize your device then font manager and we got a lot of fonts here so you can see you can choose uh, between and then display size small uh, smallest width then switch appearance and also dodge dashboard icons like oneplus so you can set it then we have dashboard conditions and dashboard suggestions here then into ambient display ambient display doesn't work so like just like ignore this screen smart pixels work you can see if you want to like dim battery uh, like save battery and you can also use rounded corners so you can see i have rounded my corners and it looks really like it looks weird but yeah if you just want it to look like rounded like for new devices then yeah this is how and the normal values are set like this the framework values okay so it got reset <laughs> i will just like do it afterwards smart pixels screen stabilization doesn't work you can see even if i'm like shaking the screen it doesn't work so yeah oops I just like forgot to disable it. Getting back, we have these buttons, and you can also disable hardware keys to use navigation bar, an accident touch, and power menu. We have advanced reboot and other options. You can see lock screen options, visibility, and all. Then low volume rockers, like you can just like oh wait. Maybe we have the volume panel customization. Okay, volume panel on left, then volume steps, and also the volume panel. You can see you can edit this. Oops, sorry, I'm accessing the power menu. Volume panel, also if you want it on the left, you can see, it comes on the left. So yeah, let's get back. And then we have your navigation bar. 
and you can see we have nothing and we get this spy navigation bar if you enable it now moving towards the gestures you can see we get system gestures swipe to screenshot swipe gestures swipe up gestures edge gestures spy control and these are the one plus gestures uh like one plus gestures also there the swipe up gestures then we also have the lock screen customization so you can see we get all the normal lock screen stuff and then recent and you can see we get the slim recent uh, recent style you can like choose slim stock android go also android go are present but i like the normal quick step one then we go into animations you can see we get all of the animation types so yeah you can customize the notifications at a charging light which we don't have so like just ignore then system we get privacy guard uh, signature spoofing activity blacklist like you can just choose it and burn in production then we have rme settings which are the keyboard settings so you can like choose that then battery saving so battery saving stuff here and all the miscellaneous stuff like usb configuration media scanner and all screen record and shit you can see you can choose quality and let's check if the screen recording uh, works or not so uh here we have the screen uh, recorder let's check so it's set to 180p but we don't have that resolution so 720p and it has started recording and yes it is recording but i don't know why the phone becomes laggy uh somewhat the frame are dropping frames are dropping while recording but you can see after the recording is stopped the device becomes good so yeah i don't know why maybe just a normal overlay issue or something about that about a recorder or something also guys as you can see we get the camera working and for getting the camera working you need to flash the camera fix which i will like show you in the uh next like the further part of the video you can see front camera box uh, your normal camera box you can click pictures and you can also shoot videos so that is not an issue anyways you can see you can shoot videos like there's nothing you can show here so camera works really well so there are no issues with it and recording and everything works so guys that's it for the quick review of the havoc os 2.2 which is supported from jason prime to our galaxy jason 2016 and it's the first pi rom for our galaxy jason 2016 ever release so yeah this is the quick review and now let's start the installation so for the installation you need to boot into recovery mode so i have advanced reboot so i'll just show you the normal way this power of the device device into the twrb recovery mode so press the volume up the power and the home button your device will boot into the twrb recovery mode okay and to go wipe advanced wipe dalvik system data and cache Getting back, go to install. You need to install the Havoc OS, then the oxygen kernel, and the camera fix. Swipe to confirm flash and wait for it to uh, go through the installation process. Also, if you want G apps like Google Apps, you can flash the Google Apps after the oxygen kernel and then the camera fix. So, I'm just flashing the ROM because. Uh, like i don't use g app so yeah on this like device actually like there is no need so you can see the installation process is going so i'll just skip this so guys the fl flashing the oxygen kernel is uh, mandatory so you need to flash it or else the rom won't boot so now you can see our rom which is for the json vld actually is flashed uh, like it's ported uh, okay it's ported from the json vld then i don't know why it said on its 7x VLD, but it's like okay uh, it works really fine so no issues then oxygen kernel and the camera fix now i need to just reboot system and wait for the havoc OS boot animation to come up you can see our boot logo and here we are havoc OS has successfully installed and it will take just like one like less than one minute to boot and then you can set up and just use android 9 to pi based havoc os 2.2 on your device so yeah like your gsn 2016 so that's it guys for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button if not then the dislike button subscribe for more videos also press the bell icon if you want quick notifications and for more videos on the json 2016 
uh, you can like either comment whatever you want or like subscribe already told you so bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye